fingers crossed I can remember how to ride a bike. So, hey guys and gals, it's been a bit of a while since the last vlog. Um, and that's also due to camera issues and lots of other stuff. So I'm hoping this is coming through fine because the drift ghost last time completely cocked up and the audio sounded like a 56k modem. But yeah, the... It's winter now, as you can tell by the roads, and I'm wearing all my winter gear and riding a little bit more sensibly. Okay, I'm lying. I haven't been on the bike for three weeks and it's a little bit intoxicating to have this much power again. <laughs> uh, great, cyclists again. So yeah, I got a car, got the bike serviced, and yes, I've been really busy with work and stuff. And also, other certain people in my life have, have happened. Oh no, I've got to follow a bus all the way. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, no, 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 I'm not letting you out. Oh. Yay, got past that bus. Right, so yeah, I bought the car, and people seem to now think that because I have a car and a bike, I'm going to get rid of the bike. No, you can have both. And I've had both for ages, just not a very good car. But yeah, so I bought the Seat Leon SCFR 2014, brand new, 1.4, 150 PS, 140 like, brake horsepower, whatever it is with technology pack, DAB radio, Bluetooth, blah blah blah, LED headlights, auto wipers, you know, all the good things, all the nerd things. In white, of course, because white is uh, my favourite colour. And I wasn't allowed the green. Damn. I was going to go for the sports styling pack on it, but that would have meant I would have had to wait three months to get the bike, or get the car. Yeah, so... What's coming up soon? Well, not a lot because it is now winter and this is probably the best day of the two weeks so far since I last rode. And yeah, I'm off to Dubai at the end of the month with the girlfriend for a nice romantic weekend away in Dubai. A bit of sun. Uh, yes, looking forward to that. That's post deadline, so now is basically deadlines until holiday, holiday, and then come back a few weeks. Christmas! Wow, where's the time going? I don't know. See, I've seen a few people have talked about putting their bikes away for Christmas and I will probably be doing the same, to be honest. I did ride the Versus last year, but the Versus isn't a very nice bike, I'd say. Uh, and I didn't like the corrosion that happened on some of the swing arm bits, so I'll probably be washing this, cleaning it really well, and then putting it away, because I don't want the salt to ruin this lovely Triumph. And also it's not very fun to ride a powerful bike in the wet because if you're a little bit too heavy handed with your right hand the back end goes a little bit um, skewy. Let's just put it that way. This doesn't have traction control which is I think the one thing that the Versus 1000 has over this. Electronic goodies. This is just a raw engine plus good frame plus good suspension kind of bike. best I can do with horses I'm afraid. Kill the engine basically with clutch. And my balls are frozen. Oh it's chilly. I just put the heat grips on. This might be the last ride of, of this winter, I don't know. It is chilly guys. It is very chilly. I was in Paris the other weekend visiting family, if you don't follow me on Twitter, and yeah, that was 20 degrees, 21 degrees, that was good fun, visit family, should have really taken the girlfriend, uh, yeah, we were stuck on the RER, uh, the metro, not the RER, for a security alert, for a suspicious package, so, lots of people with guns walking around, which was good fun, so yeah, that was a good holiday, and now, yeah, oh, so I've done Norway, Sweden, Paris, 
going to do Dubai. Jet set lifestyle of a pro. And I bought a car. And I got an iPhone. Oh, I forgot to say about the iPhone. I got the iPhone from work. iPhone 6. It's alright, to be honest. I mean, if you put it side by side with a 5S. i got to say, the 6 definitely reminds me of a Samsung Galaxy. You know, their phone, the Samsung phones. It is really... It's kind of sad. The quality build has really gone down, I've got to be honest with you. Typically, as I get one, the iPhone quality goes down. iOS 8, iOS 8 is fine on the iPhone 6. It does some weird things on 5, but I've seen. But yeah, that's good. That's for work, for testing. Probably get an iPad next. Um, yeah. So, work's fun. Car's good. I haven't really talked much about car versus bike, but it's an and for me. You can enjoy both cars and bikes. And yeah, I do prefer Formula 1 to MotoGP. I haven't really watched any MotoGP in my life. I've tried to, and I've really tried. I know I love bikes, I ride bikes, but I just can't get into MotoGP. Whereas I can sit and watch Formula 1. It's been a bit boring the last few races though. Um, but yeah. It's not weird like that. But yeah, car and bike, they're different things. It's just easier in a car, to be honest with you. The bikes just really become more about fun. And yeah, a toy, really. Which is what this bike did become. It got rid of the workhorse versus. And I got my beautiful Tiger, which is, is excessively powerful and comfortable still. But it is a toy, to be honest with you. Whereas my car is a workhorse with toys. Okay, there's a little bit of fun to it, but... Yeah, it's still about getting from A to B with people and passengers and luggage and stuff. Nicer. Yeah, so, car and bike. And I enjoy them in different ways. A bike is more about adrenaline. A car is more about comfort and, you know, being able to talk to people and, yeah. But you can have both and the Tiger is safe. I'm not getting rid of the Tiger. But with winter, you're not going to see a lot of videos, I'm afraid. And I'm nearly home. Put her back in the garage for a few more weeks until it actually clears up again. Until there isn't rain. This is post rain. You can still see some puddles around, but. <laughs> it's all easy. It's sorry. My hands are now toasty. So, yeah. Uh, sorry for the lack of the updates. Just follow me on Twitter if you want to really know what's going on 24-7. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you guys in Kels next time.